फ्रेंड्स टूडे इज वीडियो इज अबाउट वायरिंग ऑफ सीलिंग फैन इन दिस सीलिंग फैन टू टाइप्स ऑफ वाइंडिंग इज डन यू कैन सी हेयर टू वाइंडिंग्स आर देयर वन वाइंडिंग इज दिस वन एंड सेकेंड वाइंडिंग इज दिस आउटर वन लुक वेन वी स्टार्ट डूइंग वाइंडिंग देन हेयर वी हैव वन एंड ऑफ वायर सो फ्रॉम हेयर वी स्टार्ट द वाइंडिंग एंड इट इज कम्प्लीटेड हेयर नाउ वी हैव टोटल टू एंड ऑफ वायर लाइक हेयर यू कैन सी दिस इज रनिंग वाइंडिंग हेयर इज वन एंड एंड हेयर इज अदर एंड it means from this winding we got two terminals similarly this winding which is done on outer side from this also we got two terminals overall in this ceiling fan we got four terminals which are coming out after winding now for wiring of ceiling fan we have to remember some points first of all these wires coming from winding we have to identify these that which one is of start winding and which is of running winding to identify these there are two ways first is through multimeter we can do continuity test or measure the resistance and second way is using series test lamp so first of all by using multimeter how we can identify friends if you connect one probe of multimeter here and you connect second probe here now if you get continuity in multimeter then these two ends are of same winding but if you don't get continuity then remove one probe and connect here If you get continuity now then you will get to know that both these ends are of same winding similarly you can identify other wire also now how to identify by using series test lamp let us see this also look here we took a bulb now what we will do we will make series test lamp from here we connected a wire to this bulb now what we will do connect a wire from bulb and connect this wire with this terminal now connect phase supply from here and connect with this terminal but you can see here bulb is not glowing now what we will do wire we connected here change this connection and connect wire here the moment we connected wire here bulb started glowing it means these two terminals here are of same winding similarly we do this in multimeter we connect positive probe at this point and negative at this point it will show continuity here these two terminals we identified let's name these to this winding r1 and to this r2 now remaining terminals here let's identify these also for this what we will do connect a wire from bulb and connect here now take phase supply from here and provide it to this terminal you can see right now bulb is not glowing okay so what we will do remove wire from here and connect with this when we connect wire here bulb started glowing from this we get to know these two terminals here these two terminals are of same winding let's name these s1 and s2 so we identify terminals of winding now what we will do take one end of each winding and connect with each other that is short these terminals now what we will do with other two remaining terminals connect the capacitor now what we have to do we have to provide phase supply and neutral supply where to give phase supply and where to give neutral supply you have to remember this what you have to do take neutral supply and wires we short before with this you have to connect always connect neutral supply with the wire which we short each other before now phase supply here what we have to do these two wires here with any one among these two connect this wire so take phase supply and connect with r2 wire now suppose somehow ceiling fan is rotating in opposite direction then how to change direction to change direction what we have to do here s1 and r2 terminals need to be short with each other now to connect capacitor what we have to do take the wire connect with r1 terminal and connect other wire with s2 terminal now we have to provide phase supply and neutral supply to this so how to do this look these two wires we short before with this we connect neutral supply and connect phase supply with any one wire among these two in this way we change direction of ceiling fan if from your ceiling fan three wires are coming out then there is no need to use series test lamp already color coding is there how to understand this color coding look here black wire is for neutral supply and other two wires are of same color so with these two wires we connect capacitor now what we will do with black wire we connect neutral supply and among these two wires with any one wire we connect phase supply now how to do complete wiring of ceiling fan this is our ceiling fan this is our switch board and this is our capacitor now what we have to do in the ceiling fan on these terminals we connect the wires here we get three terminals 
Now what we have to do with this capacitor here, we connect two wires which are of red color and with this remaining terminal, we have to connect neutral supply. Leave this right now. Now we have to give power supply to this switchboard. So first of all, take phase supply and connect this wire here with indication lamp. Now we have to give phase supply to this switch also. To provide phase supply, loop a wire from here and connect with this terminal. Now what we have to do to provide phase supply to this regulator from outgoing terminal of switch, this one, connect a wire and connect with one terminal of regulator. Now what we have to do to provide neutral supply to this indication lamp, connect a wire from here and with neutral terminal of indication lamp, connect this wire. It means to this indication lamp, we provided both phase supply and neutral supply. Now we have to give neutral supply to ceiling fan. What we will do with this neutral terminal, connect a wire and with neutral terminal here, connect this wire in this way. Now we have to give phase supply to this ceiling fan. This fan regulator here with one terminal of regulator, connect a wire and connect with this terminal. We can connect this wire here as well as we can connect this here also. So friends, in this way, we do wiring of ceiling fan. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, then please give like on my video and do share with your friends. Thanks for watching this video.